Paradise was once home to 26,000 people, but the campfire moved as fast as 80 football fields a minute, quick enough to melt cars while drivers tried to get away. Heavenly Father, please help us. Please help us to be safe. I'm thankful for Jeremy and his willingness to be brave. Desperate search for the missing in Butte County as the deadly campfire burns out of control. Now, that fire is now the most destructive in state history. And it's tied for the deadliest. Those left with nothing are picking through thousands and thousands of donations of clothes and food. Donations have been brought from as far away as the Bay Area, including from the famous Turculator bus. We've picked up from Concord, Walnut Creek, Vallejo, and just collect a bunch of stuff and um, bring it to the people who need it the most. To come here and get donations when we're generally ones donating, it's humbling. You know, but what are we going to do? What are you going to do? I'm, I'm going to take the help that's offered. <laughs> I mean, I have to. And all the smoke from that fire is making its way again here today. Yet another day of very unhealthy air. As we take a live look south from our Transamerica camera, you can see Salesforce Tower on the left side of your screen, but definitely hazy. Another dark, gray, smoky day. Yeah, so the blue diamonds, very unhealthy air. The red dot there, unhealthy air. And in Contra Costa County, near Richmond, uh, AQI values above 300, and that is hazardous, dangerously uh, unhealthy air quality. As for the long-term health effects of exposure to this smoke, doctors say it's not clear. The best advice is to avoid exposure to the thick, dirty air. After a week of these conditions, life goes on. It's just so hard right now because people are just, we don't know where everybody is, you know. It's just a one great community. I, I'm sure we're going to rebuild, but I don't know where you start. Uh, where do you start? Everything's gone. <laughs> 